Hey loves, welcome back to my channel. My name is LaToya Ebony, and today we are going to be discussing the nine ways that you can always, always, always look put together. Yes, these are ways that you can instantly upgrade your outfit, and guess what? They're super easy, so stay tuned. Probably the easiest thing that you can do is cuff your sleeves, roll them, scrunch them, cinch them, your sleeves, and also the hems of your pants. I do this all the time, even when I'm wearing t-shirt and jeans. It just adds just an extra level of just a little style, you know? And when you have like something like this, like a blazer on, scrunching your sleeves, just gives it a little bit more of a casual, relaxed, but cool, stylish look. You can do this with button up pants. You can do this with pretty much anything. And as you can see from the examples that I'm showing you, it's very easy, but it instantly, for me, it kind of slims in it kind of like slims down my arms a little bit or it actually gives them a little bit more of shape since I have very large upper arm area. I feel like it kind of gives the illusion of being slender and a little bit more balanced. But overall, it just makes you look real cool. Accessories. Now you know I was gonna say it. It's literally the, probably the second easiest thing that you can do. You can add a little oomph to your outfit, whether that's a hat, some jewelry, belt, shoes, handbags. The accessories are where it's at, especially now that we're headed into the colder months, you guys. The scarves, there's just too many options. Play with proportions. Now this can mean so many different things. For me, it usually has to do with either lengthening the body or slimming down certain areas. So whether that's wearing a fitted top with a fuller skirt or fuller pants at the bottom. Uh, you know, I always think of uh, the R&B artist Aaliyah because she would always wear these baggy pants on the bottom and then a sports bra on the top. And that was sort of a version of this. But with me and my body type, I like to play with different silhouettes as well, whether that's, you know, wearing a dress, skirt, pants. I like to do a lot of more, if I'm going to go oversized on tops with, you know, uh, jackets, blazers, I like to go very fitted on the bottom so that it sort of gives me shape. I also love lengthening my legs. I have a relatively long torso and so I really like the look of having longer legs. So a lot of my jeans and pants are high-waisted. Not only does it cover the little pooch area, it really offers that length and I'm able to really play with my proportions so that my torso doesn't look so long in comparison to my legs. Outerwear. I did not learn this until later on in life, unfortunately, but outerwear is so freaking important. You need to have some coats in a variety of colors, even if it's just the basic camel and black and maybe something else with just like a little bit more color or pattern. Even if you just have three, the outerwear is so important because it actually is a part of your outfit. I cannot tell you how many times in my past, in my youth, and my other youth, because I feel like, I, you know, I'm still young, you know what I'm saying? But when I was younger, I would be wearing these bomb outfits, and then I would go to put my outerwear on, and it just didn't go. It was just... It was just a hot mess, especially like when I would go out to the club, which didn't happen very often, but when it when it happened, I needed to have like a little short cropped coat, something that would really just complement the outfit. And I think that this is a miss that so many people have, including myself for so many years. You need to upgrade your outerwear and it has to be something that fits your style, your lifestyle, and is tailored to you because it will complete the outfit. The outerwear is kind of an outfit in itself. Makeup, okay, makeup is, it's a wonderful thing. I know a lot of us, you know, maybe a lot of you don't really like wearing a lot of makeup. I actually don't like wearing a lot of makeup, but I like to play up certain parts of my face, in particular, my lips. I love red lipstick, 
blue lipstick, black lipstick, purple lipstick. I love to have a bold lip. I feel like it really balances out the wideness of my eyes. And also sometimes if I want to go with like a deep kind of sultry, sexy eye, I will play down the lip. So makeup really does make a difference in your outfit. Like if you look at someone like who is super popular, like a Lori Harvey right now. She's trending all over the place and she sort of has, she has a very feminine um, style but she kind of has like a little bit of a tomboy look and one of the secrets to her always looking so put together is that her face is always be like, it always looks great, you know, and she doesn't wear a ton of makeup but she just complements the features and she doesn't need a lot and I think most of us don't need a lot. If you can just choose the features of your face that you want to accentuate, you can go a little heavier there and just keep everything else light and natural. You can even use the color of your lipstick or your eyes or your eyeliner to complement your outfit to kind of bring everything all together. I love to do that all the time, especially when I'm wearing red accessories. Posture. Posture is so important and I don't think that people talk about it enough. Not only does posture affect the physical appearance of your body, but sometimes it is a reflection of your mood, your self-esteem, or even your health. And I think really strengthening those back muscles and really just being mindful of when we're slouching or hunching our shoulders over, when we kind of open it up, not only does it invite people into our space and make us you know, appear a lot more cheerful and inviting, it makes you look better, honestly. And did you guys know that a lot of celebrities, they have to train their backs of their bodies just as much as their front of their bodies. Actually, any good trainer will help you train the front and back because you wanna look good from behind, on the side, and the front. And so celebrities, they really do pay attention to their posture, especially on the red carpet because it really does scream confidence. Choose a feature of your body and show it off. Show it off, baby. I don't like showing everything all at once. I think sometimes it just pulls way too much focus and depending on your style, it may or may not be as flattering. It really depends on you, but I love to choose just a portion of my body that I really wanna feature, whether that's my face, my decollete, my shoulders, my legs. Sometimes it's my silhouette and I wanna wear something, you know, bodycon. I really think that it helps you appear and maybe even feel a little bit classier when you can, you know, choose choose a section of your body that you really want to feature. It draws all of the focus there and in my opinion, it makes you look a lot more put together. That is just my personal opinion. Like, you know, you, you do you boo. Uh, I've seen a plenty of confident women who really just loves to show their body off. Me, I like to be a little bit more strategic and that just plays into my own personal sex appeal. Hair. Now y'all know I was gonna say something about hair. My look, can change drastically depending on my hair. Right now my hair is up in a bun. It's not, I don't have my edges sleeked back or anything like that. And by the way, it doesn't matter if you have straight or curly hair. I think that your hair, no matter what it looks like, it can look amazing. Whether that you, whether you want your hair to be in its natural state, whether you want to straighten it out, weave it up, whatever. I love using hair as kind of an additional accessory. I know I look very different when I cover my forehead, when my hair is straight, when I have an afro, if I'm wearing a wig, whatever it is. I, I really like the idea of using your hair as a part of your outfit. And everybody knows that if your hair is done, even if you're wearing sweatpants, you still look good. Fragrance. Now, you might not know right away how it will affect your look and help you, you know, feel better and everything. But fragrance, it's really special because it affects your sense of memory. And whether that's wearing a fragrance that reminds you of a beautiful night that you had on a date or a family member or a loved one or whatever it is, it can really affect your mood. And also, there's that added little effect if you walk by someone and they're like, oh my God, they smell amazing. Have you ever just been like on the street and someone just walks by you and it literally just grabs your attention and you can't help but just, 
you need to know who that person is that just went by you. Yes, I've had that happen so many times and I wanna be that person, you know? And so with fragrance, it's really like, we like to call it a perfume, but perfumes are the highest concentration. That's the more expensive, I'm not gonna get all up into it, but an eau de toilette is like very light. It has a lighter, um, a lighter percentage of the oil that make up the fragrance. In a parfum or a perfume, it really has that like pungent, like, whew, it's really, it's gonna last a lot longer. And so you kinda wanna go for fragrances that have that if you can take it. But at the end of the day, find a signature fragrance that really mixes well with your own chemistry that you love, especially if you find a fragrance that you love and people are constantly complimenting you on. That's the one, that's the one. I still feel like I'm in search of mine, but fragrance I think is a really essential part of your outfit. You, It's just like lipstick to me, like it's just not complete if you don't have a little fragrance on. So those are the nine ways you can always look put together, the nine ways to upgrade your outfit, look stylish, however you wanna put it. If you can incorporate any of these nine things, something new that you've never tried, you are going to be instantly on your way to looking fabulous. <laughs> and with that being said, I will see you in a few days. Mwah.